Hi everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here. Back in November of 2018, I spent three weeks exploring and eating my way through seven incredible cities in India with my friend Sam from Sam and Audrey. Our third city on our epic adventure was Amritsar, which is located in northern India near the Pakistani border in the state of Punjab. Along with the Golden Temple, Amritsar is famous for its dairy products, so they have lots of rich and spicy non-veg dishes and tasty and savory veg dishes. Many of them are made with milk and butter, which makes them really fatty and super flavorful. My mouth was watering just thinking about them. Before we dive into the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get updated when all the new videos drop. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 Indian street foods in Amritsar. The first food on our list is kulcha, a dish I tried on my first morning in Amritsar. Kulcha is a mildly leavened flatbread made with maiden flour and lots of spices. It is served with a chickpea dish called chole masala and a tamarind sauce that is loaded with onions. My friend Deepak gave me a taste of his kulcha which was crispy, super buttery and bursting with tons of delicious herbs and spices. Even though my own kulcha contained lots of green chilies, it wasn't that spicy but it was amazingly flavorful. The ghee, chole and tamarind together made for an epic flavorful combination that had me craving more. Can I drink this? Mm. Oh, it's spicy too. Delicious. Oh my god. It's hot. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> Later that same morning, our friend Deepak took us to the walled city of Old Amritsar, where we came across a food stall called Tara Chand. There we tried the second Indian street food you have to try in Amritsar called Paneer Burji. This is a cottage cheese and vegetable dish that is served with two slices of bread, a mint chutney, a tamarind sauce, and onions. It also comes swimming in butter, so it's super fatty and rich beyond belief. But man, it is tasty. This scrumptious, flavorful street food contains a secret masala that the cook won't share with anyone. So Tara Chan is the only place you can get it. It is so freaking good and it reminded me of a really buttery scrambled eggs, except it doesn't contain any eggs. It's basically like a super, the whole thing is like a melted cheese. Yeah. Full of all these herbs, yeah. Mm. He, he put a lot of cheese on when yes. they were preparing it, yeah, yes. I noticed. The quantity of butter is very high. And the aroma. Yes. It's Smelling amazing. it. It's wow. amazing, it's amazing. It's blowing my taste buds, like for real. It's so many different flavors here. Yes. And I, I really like how you break out a piece of bread, uh -huh. get a little bit of this. The uh -huh. tamarind sauce is really light. Uh -huh. I feel like, what is this? Is the mint sauce? Is the mint yeah, chutney? This, this is a mint sauce. Yeah. Mint chutney? Yes, you can make it. Let's get a little piece of bread here. Sorry, I'm doing my best here with a spoon. Mmm. <laughs> oh. The mintiness is so good with that. It's a great combination. Yep. There are so many spicy dishes in India and sometimes you need something to wash all that heat out of your mouth. The best way to do that is to drink a lassi, which is a creamy yogurt based drink they usually have at the end of your meal. But in Amritsar, they take lassi to the next level by adding a pap of butter and large dollop of cream on top. It's so thick and creamy, you can actually eat it with a spoon. But when you sip it, it's a lot like a really thick milkshake. If you're lactose intolerant, you'll want to stay away from this decadent drink. But if you're like me, you won't be able to get enough of it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Woo! I mean, that was all butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to drink it. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. How is it? Mm, it's like a super thick milkshake. Oh, it's super creamy. I love lassies. Every single day I was in India earlier this year, I drank one right after a meal. It's perfect. Mmm. I mean, it's super fatty, super rich, but it's a perfect thing to have after a meal to cool down the spice. Yes. When you visit Amritsar, you have to enjoy a meal at the historic Kasser de Daba restaurant. The recipes here have been passed down and perfected over the last 100 years. And one of their best dishes is their palak paneer. When I tell you this cottage cheese dish had my mouth watering, I mean it. It was filled with fresh spinach and loads of fragrant and delicious spices. The combination of cheese, spinach and spices was like a full on party for my taste buds. It was on a whole nother level of deliciousness. This is like a spinach curry basically. A spinach curry. Oh, 
Oh, an aroma? Wow. The other star on Kasir Daba's century old menu is the Maki Dal. This fantastic lentil dish is slowly cooked for 12 hours in a gigantic pot. During my time at the restaurant, I tried my hand at stirring a pot of it and I had to throw my entire body into it. The 12 hour cooking process is well worth the wait because the dal comes out very earthy and kind of sweet with a nice layer of fat on top and creamy ghee flavored throughout. I've eaten tons of dal in India and this one is easily my favorite. This is so amazing. You know how to eat? You hungry? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm always hungry when it's about the case of the Hama. I'm always hungry too. Yeah. No. Mm. Uh -huh. Very earthy. Uh -huh. You really taste the ghee. Uh -huh. It's like a super layer of fat on top. Uh -huh. Wow. After my boy Sam and I stuffed our faces at Caser de Daba, you'd think there's no way we could fit more in our stomachs. We thought the same thing until we came across a street vendor selling the sixth street food on our list in Amritsar, Masala Chai. There's always room for chai, especially when it's as warm and creamy as this one is. The warming spices that are added to it, like cardamom, are the icing on the cake. You haven't had chai until you've had it in India, and the masala chai in Amritsar is up there with the very best. Cheers. Ooh, scorching hot. Yep. But love the spices, the cardamom. Without question, the most special place in Amritsar and one of the most special places I've ever visited in my travels is the Golden Temple. Inside is the Langar, or kitchen, where roughly 100,000 people of all faiths, backgrounds, and creeds are served in a communal style dining hall every day. All of the food is made by volunteers. Not only can you taste the love that goes into making the food, you can also feel it in the air. The maki dal is super flavorful, as is the chickpea chole. You eat them with a flatbread called the roti, which I watched the volunteers make in the kitchen. I was also served a delicious dessert called the kheer, which was the perfect way to end this incredible meal in a beautiful and inspiring place. Let's go in and get some dal with the hands. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, so good. Oh, so flavorful. So flavorful. You gotta keep putting it on. When anybody asks me, Deepak, which is the best restaurant in Namri Sir, my answer is the Golden Temple Langar yeah. is the best restaurant. Yeah. Because the food is a priceless. The food is a making with the love, serving it with love, and eating with the love. Oh, it's like rice pudding. Where? This. This. Kasir de Daba isn't the only famous restaurant in Amritsar with 100 years of history. Another local favorite is Barawan de Daba, which has been in business since 1912 and serves the best Amritsari tali you'll find anywhere. From the sweet and earthy dal to the huge chunks of paneer, this is easily one of my favorite meals in Amritsar. I couldn't get enough of the chole, which had a thick, rich, drool-worthy curry that made my taste buds sing. There was also a sweet and spicy mango curry that paired very nicely with the chole. One of my favorite things about this tali was the combination of rice and paratha, which made it feel like a delicious mix of northern and southern tallies. Yeah, it's always maki dal means like, I guess, butter dal, yes. butter lentils, right? It's so black lentils. Black lentils, here we go. Oh, right there. Oh, how's it? Mm. Super sweet. <laughs> the ninth food you absolutely must try when you go to Amritsar is all the different kebabs at Sahad restaurant near the Pakistani border. I cannot recommend their tender and juicy Sikh kebab enough. The meat is super soft, almost like poached chicken. It is so tasty and is surpassed only by the Dahi Ka Kebab, which is a fried potato fritter like patty with yogurt inside. It is served with a mind-blowing mint chutney. When it's combined with the herbs inside the patty, it takes the dahi ka kebab to the next level. These two kebabs are dishes you simply can't afford to miss. Mm. Oh, I'm in love with this mint chutney. Mm. The best part about India is the sauces. The last dish on my top 10 Indian street foods you must try in Amritsar is the mutton curry also served at Sahar restaurant. I personally love mutton and I have eaten it all over the world, but I have never had a mutton dish like this. The goat meat is served in a thick, rich, 
aromatic curry that made my mouth water before I even tasted it. The meat itself was super tender and juicy and it practically fell off the bone. It was so buttery, it melted in my mouth. You want to try some of the best mutton curry in the world, you have to add Sahar restaurant to your itinerary next time you're in Amritsar. To miss this dish would be a crime. <laughs> the Indian food ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that up? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And that's it. My top 10 foods you have to try when you come to Amritsar. This city is a must visit for anyone planning a trip to India. And as amazing as the food is, the people there are even better. I guarantee the food and hospitality there will make you never want to leave. I hope you enjoyed this top 10 Indian street foods in Amritsar, Punjab, India. If you guys did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I've been to Amritsar, where have you been?